Hey guys and welcome to Train Sim TV. You join me on a short run scenario on this uh, on this feature today, and we are going to be doing a scenario part two of which I did part one of on our last stream. Uh, it's for Zulu 03, I think it is, and we're going to be doing a run from Morton Loop on the Airwash Valley up north to Totley Curve. We have 66779 at the helm with a rake of, uh, I think they're loaded, I'm going to double check that. No, they're not, they're empty. We've got empty hoppers for this run. Um, so we need to get ourselves set up and we're going to get ourselves on the way. Uh, we're going to all, all non-stop now to top the curve. Um, so let's get ourselves straight in this and get going. Uh, so let's get that back on there. Put it onto goods. Let's get the... Uh, the, the thingy on up here. Uh, we want power there, don't we? There we go. Lights on, instrument lights on. We'll get the windows open as well. I think we're good to go. So, uh, this is part of a scenario pack that's coming from Lewis Cox as well uh, on the Earwatch Valley. Setting around 2019 autumn winter time as well. So yeah, we've got 66779 Evening Star as well for the run. Uh, you can get this reading from Vulcan Productions as well. I'll put the link for that in the uh, description if you wish to have a play with that one. Fully kitted out with uh, the bell as well. And all bits and pieces. Really cool. One thing that annoys me, I hate the horn on this. It's right outside, but inside. It's like you can't hear off of it. Like the B key is like non-existent. Right, so it's 20 mile an hour out of the curve, uh, out of the curve, so out of the loop. Uh, right. So yeah, we did this scenario on my last stream, part one. We started off at Syston Junction. So we took the train south, past Toton and everywhere that way through Trent, Toton, and then uh, on the slow line as well, out of Toton all the way down to um, Codner Park Junction. We had a bit of a wait, and then we crossed over and did our last part of the run to Morton Loop there. We didn't have time to do the second part of the scenario, unfortunately, because I had other things in the uh, in the plan, which worked out quite nicely that we could do this video as well. <laughs> it's just absolutely naff, that horn is shocking. <clears throat> So we've only got a 14.75 mile run on this one today, so we're due to arrive at the top of the curve about 17.38. It's currently 17.17 on the clock now. We're going to go through uh, Clay Cross, Chesterfield, Dronfield, and then we're going to diverge off just before Dor and Totley. Um, the scenario itself it automatically ends at Totley Curve. Uh, so basically when the train hits the marker that's when it'll end so we'll sort of like fade out i think as we go into the tunnel to be quite honest i think i'm just going to double check where that ends make sure that works out quite nicely uh yeah so as we get into the tunnel it'll probably just fade out and that will have ended by then so easy so the top speed on this working again is 60 mile an hour as per was the last working we did of this little bit of a gap in between this, uh, the videos as well we usually do obviously we're trying to do two um, every two days um, get a video out we'll, a bit of a breather over the weekend a bit bit burnt out I mean, it's that busy with work and stuff so we're, we're sort of getting back into the swing of things again and hopefully there will be a dev diary coming up after this as well I've got some other stuff planned for a new series as well which is going to be our retro range featuring some MSTS stuff so hopefully uh, we'll be getting them up quite soon uh, I'm gonna start getting them recorded it's not gonna be all the time as regular as train sim um, what we're playing now but we're definitely gonna get some in there I'm gonna sort of see how they go and sort of test the water with it a bit so it all goes down to you guys really then if you guys enjoy them and watch them then the more uh, videos that will get produced of the title mm. 
lovely lighting now this is a uh, as it's getting later in the day to make for a nice screenshot in a little bit so Clegg Cross Junction is literally just coming up now it's just about a mile away so where the 70 point is on the uh, on the hood there heard a bang there, there's my phone falling out of my pocket and probably just smashing on the floor make a habit of that how I've not broken my phone totally yet is beyond me I did actually drop it out of the car couple about a month ago amazingly it didn't fall on the screen it fell on the back of it, I have a Hawaii uh, Huawei, what we call it um, P30 and all the back of it smashed but luckily it didn't smash the actual front screen, however I did take a bit of damage to the camera which is a bit of a, a pain because at certain zooms it, you can see the crack in the screen so it's a bit it's a bit knackered now anyway right so we are just approaching clay cross so the main uh, the main line from derby can join us on the left in a moment and we have a repeat banner there saying as our next signal is clear to proceed which is green I'm not sure if it's going to be as straightforward as well, more straightforward than the last run because obviously the last one was quite um, it was quite busy. There was quite a bit of waiting around and signals and stuff like that. I'm not sure if we're going to go straight through on this one or not. So we'll just keep our eye on these signals as we progress to um, Chesterfield. It'll be Chesterfield South. If we're going to get held anyway. It should be around Hasland where the uh, rail cam is. Looking good up to now. We're all greens. Although I do see a green on the line from Derby, so we'll have, I'm going to expect a possible um, red signal before the junction. I want to just go and have a quick look at the line because there could be a potential screenshot. And as luck would have it. We're gonna get something quite nice here now. If we get some, if we can get the lighting just right, without missing signal, because there's gonna be a signal coming up here, isn't it? Now, this is not gonna work out as I'd like, because we're gonna miss the double rest now. We've done that, let's get rid of that. Let's just try and get this sized up. Now, the annoying thing is we've got the light on the side of the 66, but I think it does quite nicely that. We have a potential, anyway, let's get back in here because otherwise it's just going to be taking screenshots. So we do have the 222, obviously, having priority, so we're going to be getting uh, held, possibly, at uh, Chesterfield South Junction. We're going to start slowing down now. Take the power off. It's always fun in games. You go out and take a screenshot and then you get the AWS against you. The DSD will go off and it, it, usually with me, it all goes pear shaped. If you've watched the streams, you know what happens. Tom always comes to a stop. Next one's yellow, and then we're going to be at red because he'll be stopping at Chesterfield as well. So we're going to most likely be getting stopped. So as we as we've done a little bit of air wash there, it's not going to be a we're not going to be doing any reviews or such on the route. It's just this is just a, a general short drive to finish off a scenario I did in the stream. Um, but it's nice to see a few scenarios have crept through um, over the weekend. So I'm going to look forward to having a play with them because um, I'm, I'm getting sick to the teeth of playing the scenarios that I built for the route. So it, it's great to see um, other users 
um, making good use of the route and uh, producing some content for it which is what it's all about um, but yeah those they'll get on the stream at some point over time and we'll have a little look at what's out there right, this next signal should be red it is as to be expected <clears throat> It just flicks over to yellow, so we're alright. So we're going to be getting um, held at the signal just before the station currently. But if we take it easy enough and not race towards it, we should be alright to continue through. And there looks to be a is it a Leeds not uh, yep yeah, it is a Leeds Nottingham it's one Yankee twenty five just coming past us here as well at Hasland. Well, cams situated on the right hand side just in this uh, row of houses as well. So if you're a subscriber to Railcam and you uh, you watch that camera that this is where you're watching this is the location you're looking at on that cam. next signal yet yep I can it's red so we're just going to take that power off and just take it easy so we, we hopefully by the time we get to it we might end up getting the yellow knocking the power off and obviously uh, applying some brake but hopefully it might change But either way, this will be our only. This should be the only time we'll get held on this run. The the 222 should be straight through all the way after this station. You won't be stopping at Drumfield. Just looking down the line, you can see. We can't see the back of the station currently. I don't think we will see the back of the station, to be fair. Cookies Bar is just. Poking through the trees there as well on the left hand side. So okay, yeah, it was uh, it was for Zulu 03. So we we're doing the Peterborough to Peak Forest Semex service, and it's uh, this is part two. Uh, the first part was 70 minutes long, and this one's only a half hour ish, approximately uh, jaunt. Oh, well, there we go. We have a uh, we have the road. He's just left the station. Cleared the signal at the end of there. Slip. Let's get the sanders on as well. I don't even think I've got any wheel slip on the first part of the scenario, to be fair. It's getting a little bit heavy on the handle there, on the, on the power. Do have a yellow at the next one, so we'll put the power back on. Just gonna wait to see if we can sight the signal. We're on a double yellow as well now. Uh, there's another potential screenshot I'd like to try and do as well. 
which is just before the station. Buffers just appear in there, as you do. Go with that. There's another potential there for the thumbnail. Right, so Chesterfield Station, straight through. Double yellow as well. And just pinged over to green, so we are we are good now. We're clear to go all the way through here by the looks of it. I say shouldn't be held for Drumfield as he'll be going straight through. We got here. Oh beast. Whole bit local science in Chatterston. Nice. Bit different. Not your usual. Uh, in terms of AI as well for the route, that's cool. That possibly might have been the one, that, the first one that went down to um, Derby, uh, not Derby, Derby Actions Park to receive VMR colours. Who knows? Possibly could have been. Junction just gone behind us there. Uh, the line obviously towards Barrow Hill and the other way around to Sheffield on the right hand side there by Woodhouse. Woodhouses. We are at 60, so we're going to take the power back off. Although we're going to leave a little bit on because we're going to be climbing. There's just so many potentials with the lighting on this. We're at that perfect time of day now. You can see it's, uh, you get some nice light on the front of the loco now as well. Try another one over here as well. Sort of out there, really. Before we go in the shadows. Excellent stuff. Right, anyway, onwards. Enough playing around with the screenshot mode. So there's a little... A little bit of a hint there's going to be something quite exciting and uh, cool upcoming from Mark later in the week as well. So do look out on the uh, on the channel. I'll be covering uh, some rather interesting stuff also in the same manner uh, on the Twitch channel later on this week. So do keep an eye out for the posts regarding that. It's one you won't want to miss. But won't going to be any hints of what it will be. Get the full power now because we are dropping a bit of speed there. Only five miles now to top the curve, so we're not actually that far at all. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, this uh, the scenario pack will be available eventually at uh, OTS. Um, it's still a work in progress. We've got, I think uh, it's two scenarios in at the minute from Lewis. We've done both scenarios actually. We did two of them. So we did part one of this and we did 4M51, I think it was, the, the Tesco container train as well on the last stream. Both really enjoyable scenarios. But yeah, they'll, they'll be available from OTS once, uh, once ready. And again, they're from Lewis, who's uh, also working with myself on the Harrogate loop. We should be progressing nicely as well. Currently doing tree revamps on the version one section of the route now myself. Um in trying to get it as, as ready as we can really for the uh, V2 release. Just so it all matches in really as well. Uh, we don't really want to have the old foliage in terms of trees where we have the new trees on the new section. 
it's a bit of a project that'll, in that in that section it's going to sort of like be a thing that's going to run over time so for the version 2 of the route we're going to get the trees done when we come to do version 3 to Leeds we're going to get um, the light side grass sorted out so we're going to give it a, a whole new refreshment there as well so it's it's an ongoing lengthy project really we can get the trees done at least um, for the first release for version 2 Drawnfield's just approaching us as well. Three quarters of a mile. Just at the top of this uh, straight section now. Still climbing uh, currently up as well. One in 100. I forgot what the tunnel's called. I always forget what this tunnel's called. I don't know if there's a marker for it or not. Bradway. Still losing speed now, we're going to be losing speed anyway because we're going to put the brakes on shortly. As we are about probably about halfway through the tunnel, I would say, getting the brakes in. And this is Dronefield. We are losing the light now as well. We're going straight into the cutting, so I don't really think we're going to see much sun now for the rest of the scenario. Not far from the summit now, I just see the hood dropping down, so we're going to be going down as well. First AWS going off there, so that's telling us um, that our next signal is going to be uh, double yellow. It'll go down to, I think it'll be a single yellow then actually, um, before the 15 with a feather. That'll be the next signal, so I'm going to take the power off now, just as we go over the crest of the summit there. So you can see there is a uh, the repeater there as well for the next signal. You can just see the top of the uh, the summit now in the. I don't think you can pick it up. I can see it on my screen, but you can just see we're going over it now. So uh, top of the curve has just appeared on the hood as well. So we are almost there, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this short little run. Again. If you want any more short runs, please head over to the playlist. It'll pop up in the right-hand side as well um, anytime now, just so that you can uh, have a little browse through and if there's anything that takes your eye. We'll add to these over time as well, so it's uh, it's never-growing uh, library of short scenario drives, usually around half-hour max. So this one's about 25 minutes, so this falls in that category quite nicely. Again, thank you everyone for um, taking the time to watch the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Links in the description for the Loco itself. So if you want to download this uh, livery for the 66, it will be in the description. Don't forget you can catch it on Twitch. Uh, various intervals now. It's not got set days. Just keep your eye out for the uh, Facebook posts. And of course, anything on the YouTube social um, community channel section where we put our posts. Um, we'll let you know the plan and when we're going to stream at that day. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, tell all your friends. <clears throat> so we're just I'm actually a little bit on on the slow side here, really, for the actual junction. We're a bit early there, but never mind. Forward planning and all that.
Thank you once again, guys, for watching this video. We'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care and stay safe. Thank mm -hmm. you.